What's up everybody? So today I've got a quick little fun tutorial for you. It has to do with grabbing a screenshot or some people call that a snip of uh, something that you're working on in on your computer. Um, so this is useful for like homework assignments if you're working like on a Microsoft Word document, you're trying to explain something, you want to grab a screenshot of something uh, as a visual to show that in your uh, assignment or you know presentations a lot of people embed screenshots into presentations and so that is what I'm going to show you today I'm going to show you two methods of doing this one of them is actually built in Windows we're working with Windows 11 here so one of them is built into Windows it's also in Windows 10 uh, so it will work in both and the other one is actually a third-party application that I will show you. Um, so let's start with the one within Windows and that is just called Snipping Tool. Uh, so to find the Snipping Tool, um, you can later just put it on your taskbar or something like that, but I haven't done that. So I'm just gonna click the Start button here and I'll tar start typing Snipping and you'll find the Snipping Tool. And once you find that and bring that up, this is what you're faced with here. Um, this has a couple of good options. So you don't click new until you're ready to snip something, um, but you can do a few different options here. You got rectangle mode, which basically means you just draw a rectangle around whatever you want to snip. You got window mode, uh, which means if you have a few different uh, windows open, you're working on a few different things and you just want to snip one of those windows, uh, you would choose that. Full screen mode, pretty self-explanatory. It grabs the entire screen um, or freeform mode. And that actually just allows you to hand draw around what you are wanting to grab a screen capture of. Uh, my favorite and the most common, so I will show you that, is the rectangle mode. This option here, you can choose a delay. So say for instance, you wanna snip something, but you wanna wait five seconds before it snips, uh, you click snip in five seconds. So once you click new and then uh, you know, draw your area that you want to snip, it will wait five seconds. I've never found a need for that. I want to grab my screen clips right away. So I just leave this on no delay. Feel free to mess with that other stuff if you'd like. Uh, this gives us a nice little tip here too. If you don't want to uh, put snipping tool on your taskbar down here or search for it from Windows, you can simply just press the Windows key plus shift plus S and that will bring up the same exact window here. So now I'm going to bring something up that we can actually screenshot um, and let's just use, let's just use calculator. So we'll bring up the calculator and just say for instance, you want to embed a picture of this in a presentation for whatever reason. Real easy to do. So you bring that up, you've got your snipping tool up, you've set the modes that you want and you simply click new. Now, once you do that, it will go into snipping tool mode and you can see that by the screen kind of dimming and this thing popping up. And this just gives uh, the same options as I showed you before. You can do freehand and window and stuff like that. But I set it to default to rectangle. And so then all you do is put your little crosshair cursor wherever you want to start, push and hold your left mouse button and just drag the area that you want to snip. So if you just wanted a screenshot of just this, you could do this. If you wanted this, you could just do that. But we're gonna do the whole thing here. So once you select the area that you want, you simply let go of your left mouse button. And as you can see, that brings that into a snip here. Now from here, it's got some really neat options up here. Um, you can actually go in with a ballpoint pen and if you click it again, you can choose a color. Uh, so let's say we just want color blue. So we choose the color blue and you can actually use that to highlight different things or point certain things out. So, so you want to circle that. If you're showing something in your presentation, uh, you can actually kind of highlight what you're talking about here. On top of that, you can actually do a size adjustment here of the drawing tool. 
on top of that, you have your highlight here. So you can actually highlight certain things. If you're trying to point something out, free highlight. And then of course, you've got eraser. And that just goes over all the stuff you've done before. I think it was, I think it just does the last thing you did though. Uh, you got your uh, different ruler that you can uh, put on the side, show people some measurements, uh, touch writing, you can crop certain images out, and of course you can undo your last movements. And say you are all done, you've highlighted what you want. Um, it's pretty simple from this point. You just click the little disc here to save. It'll ask you where. I'm going to throw it on the desktop. And I'm just going to call this test snip. And let's save it as a JPEG. So as you can see, it saved right to our desktop with the name that we gave it, test snip. And now you can paste that or embed that into whatever you'd like. So now this is just a regular image file. So that's pretty much it for snipping tool. Now the other one that I wanted to show you is called GreenShot. GreenShot again is a third party application. I will put the link down in the description below. It's totally free. I do believe they have a paid version for it as well. Um, I've just never really needed that because I just do the basic stuff. GreenShot actually has a lot more options than Snipping Tool. Snipping Tool in Windows is still great, but GreenShot has some more options. And let me show you that. I've actually got mine here. So once you download it, link below, you open up GreenShot. This is the menu you will get. Well, first, let's open up our calculator so we have something to snip. Okay. So we'll go back here, green shot, and you'll get this menu right away. Now, the one default, they have kind of the same options here. Capture region is comparable to the draw a rectangle that I showed you in snipping tool. Um, capture window, again, just a regular window, full screen. Uh, then they got a lot more stuff here. You can actually... Uh, Put it up on uh, Imgur, Picasa, Flickr, stuff like that if you have those. Um, I never do that. I just use this uh, for basic snipping tool. So I'm going to click capture the region and you'll see you've got a whole different look here for the uh, highlighter area. Um, so you pretty much do the same thing. Grab it where you want it, push and hold the left mouse drag it and let's say that's all we want so then you let go now once you let go your menu is going to pop back up now you can do a couple things here you can just go ahead and save it if you're happy with that snip but if you wanted to edit it add some highlights and stuff like that you'll click on open open an image editor and this is my favorite part of this because it has its own editor built in and it has a lot of options. I'm not gonna go through all of them for you, but it does have a fair amount of options and I will take you through the ones that I use quite a bit actually. So if you look over here, there's a lot of options up here, but if you look over here, here's your basic ones and I'll show you just the ones I use. You can add text. So let's start with that. Let's just add some sample text. So you click that. You can decide what thickness you want. You can even go as far as to say what font that you want. So let's pick fonts. I'll pick my new one or my favorite one here, font size. And then you basically just click where you want to add text and it brings up this box. Now this is movable. So you can just do this and then you just type in here. This is test text. Now, once you're done with that, you can also go in here and change the color, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it at red. Uh, but once you're done with that, you just simply right click. So you right click or there you go. Oh, it put another box there, but we'll just undo that one. But it gives you a, a sample text, embed text anywhere you'd like. Uh, next, we can add a speech bubble like you see in cartoons. So that's kind of fun. So you can type uh, what you want in there. Or next we can, um, there is a counter, I've never used that one. Uh, now highlight, this one's kind of cool um, because instead of like the last one, you 
you know, you took your pen and just kind of drew around something you were trying to show. This one looks a little better. You can use your highlighter. And let's say we wanted to just highlight this whole section here to point this out. So it's kind of the same. You just click, hold it, and then let go. And that will highlight the whole section. Now, another great thing about this, what you can do is you can actually, once you have it on highlight, you can go in here and you can choose this and you can just uh, put like the color white. And that way you're not really putting the yellow back here. So you just want to highlight just a certain box, do that and let go. But we're gonna have to change the line thickness up here. Now, if you're just trying to point that one box out to someone, you can do that. You can change the color of that box. Let's just highlight another one for fun. So I use that often and that's pretty cool. Um, this other one here is, if I pronounce it right, Obfuscate, which basically is redaction. So if you click on, this is kind of a cool option too. So if you take a screenshot, and you're trying to show somebody something and you want to send it to them, but it has like, say it has your address on it, but you don't, you want them to see the screenshot, but you don't want them to see your address. So that's where you would choose this option. And let's just say that this whole line here is your address that we highlighted. Choose this, so the same highlighting. I want you let go here. It blurs all that out. And you can actually make this lighter See, so like that's pretty, like if it were at default too, people can still see your address. But the higher you go up on this, the more blurred out it is. And so that would protect your privacy or someone else's privacy if you're trying to show them something with uh, private information on it. Um, effects, I never use that, um, but you can add borders and shadows and stuff like that. You can grayscale the image. Uh, you can crop certain parts out. Uh, but let me show you my very favorite thing about this. I like the option here. You can draw rectangles and a bunch of different stuff. But I use this quite often here where I can draw an arrow. But that is, that's also down in here. But I generally get to it here for some reason. If I want to draw an arrow. I just click on that. And then I can come in here and say I wanted to show you this ABC123. So I'm just going to point at that with the mouse button and let go. And I can do the same thing here. I can enlarge it and I can send my message to whoever I send the screenshot and go, hey, look, this is what I'm talking about. ABC123, the arrow points to that. It just kind of gives visual indicators. Um, and when, then when you're done, all you do is file. You can save it as. We're going to go back to the desktop. I want to name this JPEG as well. Our last one with the snipping tool was test snip. And we will just do test green shot for this one and save it. And that's pretty much it. So once you uh, close that, you've got your image now right on the desktop. This comes in handy again for sending something to somebody you want them to see or homework assignments or presentations or anything like that. So guys, I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel. And uh, get subscribed for uh, future content. Thanks guys, have a great day.